This is Chimera. It's my gaming desktop that has slowly turned into a catch-all server. It runs Plex, acts as a NAS to my network, along with being my go-to gaming platform. But it's time for an upgrade. It's time to build OMG Server 2.0. This project has been in my head for years. It's a ton of research and planning, and I'm finally getting a chance to build it. So what exactly is OMG Server? For me, it's primarily gonna be a media server where I put Plex and load movies and TV shows on it. I also plan to use this network attached storage so that I have a better control and access to my data. Finally, I'm gonna use it as a, a platform to put web applications and server-based applications on, and maybe even develop some of my own in the future. The name OMG Server comes from my college days. A coworker of mine was graduating soon and selling off some of his old equipment. He had an old HP Net Server LXR Pro. It had four Pentium Pro 200 megahertz processors. It was a beast at around six rack units in size, and that's not even with internal hard drives. He offered to me for $50, and I could not pass it up. After I got it out of his car, I took it up to my dorm room and left it there while I went to my next class. I came back to a simple post note on the server. Oh my god. Written by my roommate and still good friend Mike. OMG server was born. I picked up some old SCSI hard drives on eBay, built a second case to power and store them, and proceeded to install Gen 2 Linux from source on the beast. It acted as a web server and a space heater for my dorm for a few months, then I moved it back home during Christmas break. After being home a few months, I shut it down for good and moved over to a shared web host. It was just too power hungry to run. OMG Server 2.0 will be a much more practical system, but still a beast. First, I want to take a moment and thank JDM Watt and the ServerBuilds.net community. Their advice and information has been invaluable in planning this build. I highly suggest you check out their Reddit, their website, and their Discord channel if you're interested in doing a build like this yourself. Links are in the description down below. So let's get into the meat of what this system will be. For the most part, I'm following the Not Safe for Wallet build from ServerBuilds.net. My plan is to use dual Xeon E5 2650V2 processors. These are 8 core processors that are multi-thread, meaning I have 16 cores or 32 threads to use. The motherboard I'll be using is a Gigabyte GA7PESH2. It's an LGA 2011 motherboard with support for the entire line of E5 2600 Xeon processors. This allows me to easily upgrade in the future if needed. Also, this motherboard has some awesome features like a built-in LSI SAS controller and dual 10 gigabit ethernet ports. This motherboard supports up to 512 gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna go with eight 16 gigabyte sticks of DDR3 1333 megahertz ECC RAM for this build. This means I'll have 128 gigabytes of RAM with room to expand. Of course, as a NAS and media server, we're gonna need some hard drive space. I'm putting in eight Western Digital red drives, eight terabytes each, for a total of 64 terabytes of raw storage capacity. The drives themselves come from Western Digital Easy Store external drives. These are a great deal if you can find them on sale. Wrapping it all up is a Norco 4020 case. With 20 front panel hot swappable drive bays, I'm set up for future expansion. Of course, there are some things that have to be fixed with the case. The fans will need to be replaced. I've got some Nocturna fans coming for that. For the operating system, I'm planning to use Proxmox for its ZFS support. And then I'll build out virtual machines for the rest of the services the box will have on it. Now I want to be clear that if you're doing this on your own, this is not a tutorial video series. This is documenting my build and the way I'm doing it. You can follow along, but I highly suggest you do your own research and do your own planning. The best place to start is serverbuilds.net and that community, and also check out some of the various other subreddits I'm going to link to in the description. I'm going to be making some obvious departures from the advice serverbuilds.net typically hands out, and that's okay. I'm doing it my own way because I have the experience and I want to try it. If you're just starting out, some options that you can look into are software packages called Unraid and also FreeNAS. Serverbuilds.net really recommends Un Unraid, and I've had a lot of friends that use FreeNAS and are very happy with it. Both are great options, and you should probably look into them if this is the first time you're going to be building a server. I personally wanted more control, hence the reason I'm going with Proxmox. So that's my plan. I'm still waiting for a few more parts to come in so I can start my bench testing. Then I'll build it into the case, and I'll do some videos showing how I set up the software that runs everything. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep making things.